As soon as it came out of my mouth, I knew it was the right move for me. I just knew the things are going to work out and it's going to be fine. There's a lot of value in that. And of course, there's great relationships and skills and opportunities by being in those systems that you can get. You just have to be eyes wide open as to what you want to say yes to there and what you expect of it, right? But I deeply believe for the really ambitious high performers out there, you should at some point in your life test yourself entrepreneurially. I think values stay mostly the same over the years, but some things can shift. And I felt like I was a point in my life and in my career where my values were shifting slightly where things like flexibility just were really going to the top of the list. Each job I've had, there's been a big piece missing for me. My entrepreneurial spirit is very rarely embraced by a company. And I thought, oh, I guess it just must be because people like me don't work for companies. Then I did my behavioral assessment. It turns out I'm a profile called a maverick. And the only thing we can do is, is work on ourselves. And so if you're experiencing burnout, the first thing you have to do is put yourself first and stop putting everyone else first. I think with time and experience and lessons, more so losses in business and in life, you do truly understand how far you've came, but to not make that same mistake over and over again. Putting myself out there and not doubting myself and like doubting my skills. Like I learned how to communicate my abilities and even when I like maybe would have not been confident. It proves how interconnected we are as a community because so many of us in the article came from completely different backgrounds, completely different organizations, and we all had a very similar experience. If I could go back and change things, you know, I would have, especially during the pandemic, spoken up a bit more. I think there was just such a big push to do business as usual and some of the diversity and inclusion initiatives they were doing. Like, I really would have spoken up more and said, I don't think that's going to work. I don't think this is the right approach. Or I would have advocated more for myself and saying, look, this isn't a good use of my time. I respect your desire to diversify representation on X, Y, or Z call, but it's going to impact me in this way. I would have spoken up more, I think. I really want moms to know that they don't have to do it all alone. I know in those, especially those early days of motherhood with newborns, it feels so alone, but you don't have to be.